Um, but to continue about the pilgrimage, um, yeah, it, it's something, you know, we're, we're still in the middle. We're not in the middle. We're almost through. But it's something that it's still, uh, you know, you're still absorbing it, you know, the full meaning of it. And, and like I said earlier for myself, it's something, you know, this, for me, I'm more toward the, uh, the they call it the middle age. I mean, I'm a little bit more than middle age, you know. And this is, this is very comforting to, to live life and to have seen all of this. And that's what we want to encourage our people to come and see this for yourself. It, 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 it is only going to motivate you. You cannot come here and not be motivated. Seeing all of this, the beauty, the genius of our people. There was a man that we overheard uh, over in Chichen Itza, and he's walking with his wife, and he says, uh, in anger, and he says, uh, it says, looking at the beauty of these buildings, you know, and he says, and they called us savages, that we were primitive. He says, what the hell is wrong with those people? Because evidently he had never been to one of, one of these uh, sacred sites. And, uh, I mean, there's a lot of different thoughts that will come to you depending on your, your stage in life, you know, whether you're, you're in your teens and you're barely hearing about this. This will be a good life goal for you. For those of you who are as old as myself, you know, it's very comforting to come to one of these places and see that, you know, this is something from which we can build, inspire. Uh, it should help change us individually to be better human beings, uh, to live up to what's behind us here. I mean, not just the structure, the idea, the idea of this place. But it's also, you know, it's not just about pretty pictures. It's about uh, us as a, as a people speaking intelligently about who we are, speaking collectively about who we are. It's like Jesse was saying, you know, those of us who are wasting our lives either in jails or in working for corporate America, Sure, you got the big boat and you got the big house, but what do you really have out of your life? Selfishness. You know, you get the bigger toys, get the bigger uh, bank account, sell, sell yourself, sell your people. You know, so you, basically, you're, it's a way of slow motion killing yourself, and it's a slow motion way of killing our people. But we do that not because we're we're mean people that we're self hating. We we do it because we're in ignorance. We don't know any better. And what we're trying to present to you is another option. Give you something to think about. You disagree with us, fine. You know, but go out and at least read. Read some material, not, not about you know, off the top of your head or what some pendejo told you. You know, read. You don't believe us? There's plenty of books. There's no lack of books. Plenty of books out there. And you, okay, you don't want to believe the, what the white people write? Okay, then uh, read uh, what some Mexicans are writing or some Central Americans or some Native Americans are writing about these different places. But you got to do some education on who you are as a people. And then it's not just about being a very well educated and so you can intellectually speak about your identity and your history and you can show pictures of Palenque and you can show pictures of Chichen Itza and say, this is who I am. It's more than that. You have to change your life. You have to change it where you're thinking more collectively, where you're changing your, your own failings. You know, it's, we all have failings and uh, we're gonna be doing this until the day that we die. Yeah, I'm 59 years old and I'm, I'm still working on it. I'm still working on educating myself better and better and feel more comfortable about the knowledge that I, that I have and continue to investigate, continue to do research, continue to try to inspire other people the way we're doing it you know, through the Internet and now with this whole pilgrimage into the heart of Anahuac. We're hoping that this somehow you know, you know, you know, propels a lot of, a lot of you into a better imagination about how to solve the problems of our people, which is, yeah, it is about educating ourselves Anahuac centric. Yeah, it is about changing our lives. It is about making all of these changes, but it's also about working collectively. It's about getting involved in making the changes. If it means you just concentrate on your family, that's a good, good start. But from there, try to work on some people in the neighborhood, share the materials with them. Share the, the 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 ideas you know that you've picked up. Maybe they don't want to read the the website. Maybe they don't want to read the books. Show them some videos. Okay, invite them over to your house uh, uh, for a party. You know, a, a a party of knowledge to discuss 
identity, why we're not Hispanic or Latino, to discuss the basic you know, heritage of our people, going back to the Olmecs and talking about the Mayas and talking about the Mexica and talking about Teotihuacan, and then talking about the genocide that killed 95% of our people and how we're 5% that have survived. something take some actions intelligent actions like being part of the work that we're doing here with Machica movement meaning okay at least go to the website read the material there if you have a little bit more courage come and join the, the, the work that we're doing it's a lot of work and if you if you're nowhere able to uh, be able to do the work with us pass out the information to your friends your family share that knowledge Tell them, you're not Hispanic, you're not Latino. And knock off this raza mestizo uh, nonsense also. And well, what do we call ourselves? We can say Nicantlaca. I'm Nicantlaca, meaning I'm indigenous to this land. We need more people oh, no. to get involved in what we're doing, in what Mexica movement is presenting, the vision that Mexica movement is presenting. We need your help in helping us reclaim our indigenous identity.